Sam Gilliam is an artist that I fell in love with at a very early age in my own project. His work changed the way that I saw how art could function. I often talk about his manumission or his removal of the canvas from the stretchers as not only his great innovation, but as a way for me to understand what was possible in art as a whole and that rules were only parameters. So Sam Gilliam is, for me, a hero. He's a friend. He's an, an artist who I've always looked up to and continue to. And he's a person who changed the trajectory of my life and career. Sam has influences throughout the history of art that I think you often see reflected. There are the things that are, of course, more obvious, thinking about improvisation, thinking about the work of, of artists like Kazmir Malevich, in particular how Sam is kind of uh, addressing the idea of the white painting. And Charlie Parker being, I think, one of the prime examples was such an enormous influence on, on the work of Jackson Pollock, on the work of Franz Klein, and so many of the other folks who we really feel were the pioneers of, of abstract expressionism and of improvisational painting strategies. It doesn't surprise me at all that Sam was able to pivot from what was such an incredibly popular body of work and the drapes to these black and white paintings, especially at a moment where there was so much enthusiasm for the drape paintings. But like any great artist, Sam was really someone who was constantly trying to push himself and, and more often than not refused to be bullied by the expectations that people had for him. So seeing that he was able to kind of transition, pivot, turn, and follow what it was he really felt he needed to follow at a time when there was so much excitement for a body of work that, that he'd made and curators and, and collectors were pining for that, for that work, for him to be able to say, you know, I have something else to say at this particular moment is, is something that I, I find to be really beautiful and, and in line with his character. With the black and white paintings, you see these kind of incredible inflections of, of, of buildup and, and, and storytelling as a result of the materials kind of cascading all over the place, having density. Color is oftentimes talked about as the factor in Sam's work, but I, I think paint was always the factor. Well, whether he used it for the purpose of kind of transitioning your emotional state or he kind of was pushing a, your understanding of how texture can make you feel and the visceral quality of that. You know, pain is always the story for Sam.